hello guys welcome to my channel once again this is tech pba thanks for joining me so this video is about um, how to resolve iphone um, not backed up when your iphone's backup is not working and then also when your whatsapp um, chats backup is not working so i'm going to take you through how to resolve this issue so this is what i'm talking about when you have this error or the, this message on your iphone or your ipad that your iphone is not being backed up um, or your iPhone um, can't be backed up. Um, I'm going to take you through how to um, um, get around this um, very um, issue. So the next thing I will show you is to is the WhatsApp um, chats backup. So you can see that when you go into the iCloud um, um, settings, you can see um, that the storage is very full. The iCloud where the the, the backup would be stored is full. Apple only gives you 5 gig of um, iCloud storage so currently on this particular phone you can see that the 5 gig is the 5 gig is almost used up so on, in WhatsApp as well when I go to the settings I go to the chats and then I tap on the chats backup you can see that um, it's been a while this um, the, the, the backup worked because um, it's also um, backing up onto the iCloud so I'll take you through how to um, resolve this um, issue in a step-by-step -step guide in this particular um, video so we'll look at um, the iCloud um, settings or we'll go into iCloud by tapping on settings and then tapping on the account name and then tapping on iCloud to view the iCloud um, storage so you can see that the storage is almost full Apple or iCloud um, by default gives you um, 5 gig of um, cloud storage to store your photos, your um, emails, your messages, your notes and every other thing on your phone that you wish to save to iCloud. So you can see that um, that is the storage and those are the applications that are saving onto the iCloud. And then the iCloud photos are what is taking most of the um, storage. You can see 4 points, almost 5 gig. So I'll turn the, the, the sync to iPhone. I'll turn it off just so it stops um, synchronizing the pictures and videos onto the iCloud storage so that we can retrieve some um, storage from the iCloud storage to do the backups for the iPhone and then the WhatsApp. What you can also do is to upgrade to iCloud Plus. If you want to, if you don't want to delete anything from iCloud, you can upgrade to iCloud Plus by subscribing to those um, packages which is the 50 gig the 200 gig and then the two terabytes cloud storage from um, iCloud with those um, costs or at those costs so the 50 gig comes with uh, a 0 0.99 um, USD per month so if you can afford that you can upgrade to the iCloud plus to save your phones backups your iPads backups your WhatsApp and other application backups onto the iCloud but if you are like me um, and you want to get around it uh, without sub subscribing to any of those iCloud plus um, packages you can follow this tutorial to do so so on a PC I'll open a browser and then open a new tab search iCloud hit enter and then on the first ver link which says iCloud.com click on it to open the iCloud web page scroll down a bit and then click sign in to sign into your iCloud account. So you will be prompted to enter your iCloud email address, enter it, enter the password. If this is the first time you are logging in on this PC, on that PC you will use, you will be prompted to verify your identity on your phone or your tablet um, to proceed or to sign in. And then you will see that on the top right hand side, there's a red exclamation mark. Um, which gives you the indication that your storage is almost full and then these are the items that are being saved on your iCloud even your notes on your phone are being saved there so we'll click on the photos because that is where or that is what is taking most of the storage so we are going to have to remove some of them to free up some of the storage on iCloud to allow the applications to back up successfully especially WhatsApp what we're going to do is to um, select some of the items, back them up before deleting them from the iCloud storage. 
back it up because we'll back it up by downloading it first because um, for future reference in case we lose anything we can refer to that backup so go ahead and then select up to a thousand you can only select up to a thousand to download or to delete from the iCloud storage so uh, select the first one and then scroll down by holding the shift select up to a thousand items and then click the three dots on the top right hand side and then click the download thousand items once you click on that you will see the download um, begin when the download is done you can then proceed to delete the items from your iCloud store so you can see that the download is done so you can use this as a backup you can keep it on your laptop or you can keep it on an external hard drive for future reference or as a backup so Apple keeps it um, selected go ahead and then click the delete button and then you'll be prompted that your items will be deleted from all devices click um, the delete button those will be deleted from there and then you you can see that the the red icon is still showing on there meaning that the items haven't really been deleted from your phone or from your iCloud account so they've actually been moved the recently deleted items select all of the items by clicking on one and clicking or pressing ctrl a to select them and then press or click on the delete option up there for the items to be deleted from your recently deleted folder to free up the space on your iCloud storage so you can see that all of the items have been um, reduced so I'll go back to the iCloud.com and then on the main web page you will see that your storage has now been um, reduced to that in this particular um, or on this particular iCloud account so back on the phone when you go into iCloud again, you will see that the iCloud storage is now um, reduced to the size we saw earlier on the iCloud web page. But I need to mention that the iPhone backup might or may still not work because the phone's backup is usually um, bigger. The size of the phone's backup is usually bigger than um, the size of the iCloud storage that Apple gives you for free. So again, you may have to upgrade to iCloud Plus or you may use other backup um, iPhone backup um, strategies like backing up your iPhone using iTunes onto your Windows PCs or your MacBooks um, as, a, as an option so in WhatsApp I'll go into the settings again and then in the settings I'll, I'll tap on the chats backup I'll tap on the chats and then tap on the chats backup and then once there you see that this time because the WhatsApp um, backup is very um, minimal or small, that backup should work. If your backup is um, bigger than 5 gig, if your WhatsApp backup is bigger than 5 gig, that too might not um, still work for you. So you need a WhatsApp backup size that is less than 5 gig. In my case, the backup is just um, a little shy of 500 megabytes. So in this case, the backup will successfully um, be copied or be synchronized to the iCloud um, storage. So yes, guys, we looked at um, how to resolve the issue concerning iPhone backup and then WhatsApp backup on iPhone. Kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to bring you more of such videos. Click the like button if this was helpful. Share the video, turn on notifications for all, and then I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.